Well, hello to you. Hi. <laughs> Happy feast day of the Holy Family and Merry Christmas to you all. Uh, I'm Lara Gigandi. This is my husband, Glenn. Hey. And this is Mabel. Hi. <laughs> we laughed when we got asked to do the Holy Family. <laughs> We have number six on the way, so we are very blessed, and we are striving to be a holy family. So, um, anyways, um, so I was thinking about um, how St. Joseph is the man of the year this year, and um, I wanted to talk a little bit about his leadership of the holy family and how, um, for all you ladies out there, you know, still searching for your vocation. Um, just not not to settle for the first guy that loves you because I know that we all want love, but really what we need is a man who's going to be a leader, like St. Joseph, the leader of the household. And so I was thinking about how when he um, was first told by the angel that um, he should marry marry still marry her take her into his house how he took it took so much faith and strength to just listen to god and to do that even though it probably was a hit to his pride and it probably looked like bad on the outside but he just did what god said and he just led their family in that way and he took mary into his home and then um he led he listened to god again in his dream and led them out of Egypt. And so there's just like numerous examples of St. Joseph leading their family and especially listening to God. And so ladies, I just want to encourage you to look for a man like that who can provide for your particular family's needs and um, lead you spiritually, lead you to God. Somebody who listens and wants the will of God more than anything. Wow, that's great. I hope I can live up to that. <laughs> <laughs> he does. Do, what do you want to say? Do you want to say anything? <laughs> uh, no, you said, you, said it, you said it great. So. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Maple, do you want to say anything? You say hi? Hi. <laughs> okay, bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas.